Hi, I'm Tracy with Sweet Stamping and today we're going to learn how to make these fun pinwheels. I'm making them for the 4th of July but you can make them for any event. On this one I have used a lollipop stick and on this one I have used a skewer. So you can decorate them any way you like. This one I stuck it through with a thumbtack and then I had used um, some glitter and um, decorated the thumbtack and then put a little bit of ribbon on it. But you cannot blow this one. It just kind of stays stuck. So it's a good decoration. You just can't give them away to kids or anything. And then this one I had put a little bit of glitter on just to make it more fun and festive. All right, so today I'm gonna to use a skewer. I do have the lollipop sticks, but I'm gonna use the skewers, the skewer today. And I am going to start off with Regal's Designer Series Paper from Stampin' Up. And I'm just going to fold it in half diagonally. Once. And then fold it in half again diagonally to make a triangle. Oops. Okay, I like for all the creases to be facing the same way. Because if you want it to spin, it will spin if they face the same way. Otherwise the corners will get stuck on the back. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is cut each crease into the center two-thirds of the way. All right, and then you're going to fold every other one in. Make sure they overlap over the center. And then you're going to take your paper piercer and just poke a hole straight through the center. Okay, what I should have done before was show you how to start the skewer. I had used a, um, I had bought this wire. I think it's actually jewelry wire. I'm going to just wrap it around this skewer just a few times. I'll extend it out about four inches and then cut it off. Okay, I had borrowed these from my daughter. They're little beads. And I'm gonna put the big bead on the back drop it down first and then I'm going to put my pinwheel on. So I will hang on tight to this where I had poked it through. And then put the other bead on. And then I'm going to use a button um, from Stampin' up the Regals collection buttons. They go very nicely together. That's what I love about Stampin' Up. Their color collections go wonderfully together. So I put the button, I put the wire through one side of the button, drop, drop the button down, and then put the wire through the other side of the button. And now I'm just pulling on the wire so it gets closer to the skewer. You can see right here that there's a little bit of wire in there that's bent. So I'm just pulling it closer to the skewer. And this is probably the hardest part, but it's not that hard. And then I'm just going to wrap it around once and cut it off. All right, there you can see you have a pinwheel. You can decorate it. You have your button for decoration. You can use um, Dazzling Details. Stampin' Up! has this, and you can just go along the edges. And if you do it through each corner, then when it spins, it will sparkle.
as you can see, you have a spinning pinwheel. Thank you so much for watching my sweet stamping video tutorial.